I'm about to head out sourcing, and if you watched my channel before, you know that I like to use Scoutify 2 to source. I had been using Scout IQ as well, but that was only for the Keepa chart because I was too cheap to upgrade to the full subscription. But now I can actually delete Scout IQ because I do not need it anymore. As I finally upgraded to the full Keepa subscription, so now when we go ahead and scan a product inside of Scoutify 2, all I have to do is click research, and then at the very bottom here it says Keepa, click into that, and I have the full Keepa chart and data available to me because I'm already logged in over here. That is a lot of good information when you're sourcing. So if you're finally wanting to make the upgrade to a full Keepa subscription, or you're just getting started, that's probably the best thing for you to do, especially if you want to do online arbitrage as well. And it's really easy to integrate that with Inventory Lab. I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. But while my computer so unkindly has to restart for me, there are two things that you're going to need to get this done that I think are relatively obvious. First is an Inventory Lab subscription, and second is a Keepa subscription. Both of those, if you don't have them, you can get in my description. And there is a free trial for Inventory Lab for 30 days, whereas you can get just the browser extension or the full Keepa subscription. But for this, you'll need the full Keepa subscription to get the best benefits out of it. Just so we're starting off from ground zero, I'm going to delete Scott I too from my phone. So I can show you how I reinstall it and make sure that the app is integrated. And I'm going to go onto my Inventory Lab account and delete this integration so that I can show you how to create it from square one. Perfect. So that's all set. We're going to go into Inventory Lab. You have to log in and then up here you'll see your name. Obviously mine is Anthony Bedanza because that's my name. And then we'll click into that and go to my account. I clicked off of this my account down to the general settings because my account pretty much just shows you your subscription as well as the credit card information. So I don't want you guys to see that. And then if you scroll all the way down to this general information, you'll see custom research shortcut. These are things that will show up in Scoutify 2. I should probably re-download that. I'll log into Scoutify 2 and just show you the difference without having the Keepa integration already installed. And so now, if we're just scan the same product, which I actually have to return, which I'll probably have a video coming out about here pretty soon. We click down on this little yellow research part. You'll see that there is no Keepa down there, just Amazon restrictions. And I do have to sign into Seller Central to get my restrictions data, but there's no Keepa chart. These custom research shortcuts will also show up when you're sourcing over here, research scout. If I just look up the same product, then we'll see over here, there's this big list of different plugins for like some book thing, eBay, Google, Camel, 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 and there'll be an extra one right here. And you can actually probably just click this button and it'll pull up your general settings and already get you there. So if you're in the research scout part of Inventory Lab, it'll also take you directly here to the custom research shortcuts. From this point, honestly, it's super simple. All you have to do is put a display name, Keepa, which is what I'm gonna do. Icon text is K. That's the icon that's gonna show up in the research scout portion of the online version of Inventory Lab. And the last thing you need to put in is a valid URL. If you forget how to do this or you just want some more information about it, you can just go to the show me how link and it'll actually give you Keepa as the example. So down here, you see that it says HTTPS colon slash slash keep up and then all of this information right here and then the ASIN. So I took that and I copied it over into my notes section thinking that it'd be super easy. I added an ASIN which in this case was the same product right here. I copied it and I went back over to paste it over here and as you'll see pasting it just gives you another one of these dollar sign ASINs. So you actually have to type out the full ASIN 7CLV9. What? It worked for me before. All right, let's see if it works just like this. That's very weird. I don't think it's going to, though. That's odd. So keep a K. Okay. It'll show in a list. That's also when you have a product here over in List and Prep. You can see I had these here because I bought them thinking they were good, but they turned out not to be. Over here, if you click into Edit, you'll also be able to see that down here if you want further information while you're listing. You'll be able to see it in Scout and then also in Scoutify, which is the most important one because when you're doing retail arbitrage, that's what I'm mostly using. So we'll hit Create. And now I don't think it's actually going to work, but let's go ahead and just check. Just gonna refresh this page and go over here to edit. And now we have that K. If we click into it, does it work? Oh look, I guess it does work. The only reason that this already pops up is because on this computer, I'm already signed into my Keepa account. If you're not signed into Keepa, this isn't gonna work for you yet. Same thing on your phone. The first time you do it on your phone, you're gonna need to make sure that you sign into Keepa on whatever browser you use on your phone because it's gonna push you out to whatever browser you default to. But that's interesting that that does work. So I'll just actually leave this link down in the description for you guys if you want to do this. So you can just copy and paste and not have to type something out yourself. But I do wanna make sure that this works not just with that ASIN because that's the ASIN that we initially put in. I have a bunch of Under Armour stuff preloaded because I was searching Academy's web website for a while didn't find anything super profitable because I was a little late to the party but if we go here and hit the K please show something good yep looks like it'll pull all the information up which is awesome luckily from here since we already have that set up it's as easy as just restarting your Scoutify 2 app I should probably put that back on my home page I need that clicking into Scoutify 2 and then I'll just go to my mm, do I have any good reasons no I don't okay <laughs> clicking into Scoutify 2 clicking on the item and then after my bad service catches up with everything if you go down here into research you'll be able to click this little keep a button and now it'll pull up the same information. And that is because, like I said, I'm already signed in up here. You'll have to sign in the first time. Otherwise, it'll just give you some really basic information. And so with that, if you have any questions about the rank of a specific product or how often it's actually selling or if the buy box is consistent, you can now see that on Scoutify 2 or on Inventory Lab if you do a lot of sourcing there. If you need either of those programs, get them linked down in the description with some affiliate.
affiliate links and you'll help to support the channel. Let me know any other Amazon tutorials you want me to put out because these are relatively easy to make and I think really helpful. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Otherwise, you can watch this video, which is a full breakdown of how to use Inventory Lab and Scoutify 2 if you haven't used those yet, or subscribe to wait for this massive academy run that I'm about to do in the next couple hours.